Welcome to Intersoft Solution Tutorial Video. In the previous video, you have learned how to create a new client UI application using the project template in Visual Studio 2010. You have also added the data files, images and other resources used in this project. In this video, I will show you how to create line of business navigation MVVM. You will learn how to add a new page that shows a product list and product details. Let's start by adding a new model class to represent the product data entity for the application. Select class and name it product. Our project already contains the model base class that implement the required interfaces for data binding. So let's just inherit our model from the model base class. Now let's add the properties for our product model, starting with the product ID property. Notice that the onPropertyChange method needs to be called in the property setter. This notifies the binding engine whenever the property value has changed. Now let's add the remaining properties for our product model, such as the product name, category, brand and so on. Once the properties are defined, let's move on to the methods and constructors for our product model. We will need to create a constructor that accepts X element as its parameter to simplify the data parsing process from the XML to the product model. Then create validate method for this product model. Now that we have the model ready, let's move on to create the view for the product and product details user interface. We are going to add a new page to the Views folder. First, delete the default product XAML then create a new one. Select Intersoft UX page from the list, name it Products. In this walkthrough, we are going to use the Visual Studio Designer feature to add user interface controls to our page. Let's start by adding a dock panel. Reset the layout properties to fill the panel to the entire page, and then set the margin property to 10. Next, add stylish label to the dock panel. Dock the stylish label to top using the Adorner Designer. Then, set the content and style property. We are going to use a list box to display our product data, so let's add a UX list box into the dock panel. Then, reset the layout and set the properties. Next, add UX frame to the dock panel and set the properties. Notice on display fragment in browser property, when this property is set to true, it will activate nested frame in your UX frame. Then, add URI mapping, which will be used for mapping to product details page. Next, we are going to create a new page for product details. Select Intersoft UX page from the list, name it product details. Then, add stylish label into your grid, then set the following properties.
Next, add dock panel to the grid, reset the layout properties to fill the panel to the entire page, and set the name property to details panel, and margin property to 10. Then add a UX toolbar control into the dock panel. Dock the UX toolbar to top using the Adorner Designer. Next, remove the default UX toolbar button. Then add UX toolbar button inside UX tool group. Then set the content and icon property. Next, add more UX tool group, next to the previous one. Then, add UX callout control to the UX tool group and set the display animation, preferred position, mouse leave action and vertical content alignment property. You also add stylish label for the header, and text block control for the content. Next, add Content Reflector to the dock panel, and reset the layout properties, and for a better layout, you can specify the width, margin, horizontal alignment, and vertical content alignment property. Then, add image control to the content reflector. Next, add expandable group box control to the dock panel. Remove grid inside the control, and, add set header property to general information. For a better layout, probably you also can set vertical alignment to the top. Then, add UX items control to the expandable group box control.
Next, inside UX Items Control add 5 field label by clicking on the toolbox. After that, hold the shift key and select all of field label control and set the header width property to 120. Then set the header properties for all fields. Next, set the is enabled property to false for the first UX text box. After that, remove the, the last UX text box in field label. Then, add UX scroll viewer to the field label and set the height and the vertical scroll visibility property. Then, Add UX text box to the UX scroll viewer and set the text wrapping and style property. Finally, you have finished making the model and view for this project. In this video, you have learned how to create a model and view that will be used for binding on the next video tutorial. Thank you for watching Intersoft Solutions tutorial video. For more videos, please visit our support website at intersoft.com/support.